Doc Pohl wastes no time getting Dr. Emily to her first farm call. A herd health check at the Clay Knob Dairy Farm. I like getting out on the farm. You get, you get to play with cows. Ah, must be uh, the newbie. That is Dr. Emily. Good. That's Dale. He's the funny guy. The funny guy. You got to be out here working with farmers. You better have a sense of humor. If you don't have sarcasm and humor, <laughs> you, yeah, you won't be called on very often. Dr. Emily. Hello. Hi. This is Dale. This is Phil. Dale and Phil. OK. When we get to Dale and Phil, they don't call us up for one cow. He just leaves them in for me to double check and make sure he's doing the right thing with all these cows. Stomach is working good. Good. That's her manure, though? Yep. Manure doesn't bother me one bit. I could eat a hamburger while palpating cows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of wrong. <laughs> I smell ketosis. I smell ketosis. I've never been able to smell that. It's a dirty, sweet smell. Not very agreeable. They're all clean, so that's fantastic. No, no infections. No infections. But Dr. Emily detects something else. Friday. Sounds like a basketball. A sure sign this girl's got an LDA. An LDA is a left displaced abomasum. Yeah, this one out. Yep. Basically where the stomach of the cow gets displaced. Ow! Ooh. And can fill up with air and basically can't get back to where it's supposed to be. Oh, man. Did she step on you? Yeah, go ahead up front. They don't bite you. They don't bite. She's not a rookie, Doc. Yeah, she likes chickens. <laughs> An LDA can be deadly. The solution? Repositioning the stomach to its proper place. Many veterinarians will do surgery, but the farmers here prefer us doing the roll and stitch, which is something that she's never done. <laughs> So the first thing we do when we do the LDA in Dr. Pohl's manner, give a little bit of sedation in the tail vein. Come on. Come on, cow. We flip her up on her back. Get her over. She's so tall. It was pretty exciting because it was the first time she did a roll and stitch. Watch the hind legs there. Watch it. She's not afraid of the animal, so that's a good plus. OK, just like that. Now. The cow has been rolled. Now it's time to reposition the stomach. Because the stomach is full of gas, the gas pulls the stomach right in this place where it's supposed to be. Hear that? Yep. And with our big needles, we anchor the stomach right to the belly wall. Watch this. Ready? I put the first st stitch in. With the tip of the needle, you can feel whether you're in the apomasum, because the apomasum is smooth. Let her feel a little bit how it goes. Feel this. See? Then she can do the second stitch, so she knows how it feels like. OK, just straight in? Yep, straight in, deeper. Deeper. Oh, yeah, you're in. OK. Here, yeah. See? Push. In order to learn, you look, and then you do it yourself. OK, and now take this thing and knot it. She did fine. It was a new procedure for her, but that was all. OK, and roll it through. Roll it through. Good. I think I might need to see one more roll and stitch before I am ready for myself, but I can do it. 